most of the people that came over from MMA and actually followed me as a wrestler, they knew. But the whole fan base was still trying to catch up to me. I didn't know much. If I, like Brock Lesnar, if I went in when Brock went in, I would have had a tremendous career because I had already broken the ground. So when Brock came in, people already knew what that was. And when they said he came from the UFC, I paid the room for that already. So people were already, oh, that's that dude that can fight. So with me going in, the people were trying to catch up to him. Brain fart. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's old age. Uh, all right. I, I feel that one. one. Uh, how important was it for you for, the, for you to have the inducted into the TNA? Oh, that was that was awesome, man. That was. A, I mean, I remember asking him to do it, and he jumped right on it, man. Same with Brett. I mean, it was, I was tremendously honored that those guys stepped up to me. I mean, I mean what, how, how much bigger can you go? Do you, do you live in your heart? That you'll get a WWE induction eventually. I, I, you know, I, that's hard for me to. I don't know. I mean, I, because I don't. I would have thought I'd already been there, right? Just because of the, of the impact I had. I mean, I changed wrestling. There was no such thing as just tapping out. There was I quit, but there was no tapping out. It just didn't happen. You say I give up. So I mean, I changed the culture of wrestling. You know, there wasn't many submissions. There was the sharpshooter, there was the rear naked choke, there was, there was a very, very few holds, and most of them were resting holds, not actual submission holds. They called them resting holds. And uh, I brought in a whole new, a, a whole new era of finishing holds. And that's changing wrestling, and when you look at how people kind of look at Hall of Fame inductions, is, did they change the game? Did they change it like NFL where they had to change coverages and they had to put two people on somebody? Would impact the game or impact the culture is usually what the Hall of Fame is. And if you look at my career, I was there for two and a half years and I impacted their culture. <laughs> I, I would agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> What, what do you think about Martha Hart's comments about calling the WWE the WWE the whole thing bullshit? I I I wouldn't go that far. I think that they have their own Hall of Fame. I don't think it's the wrestling Hall of Fame. I got inducted to that. That's a wrestling Hall of Fame, um, which is pro wrestling, but it's not ran by WWF. It's ran by a separate organization that enhances all organizations and the impact wrestlers had for those organizations and the fan base. I was inducted into that one. That one to me is actually the wrestling hall of fame. WWF is the WWF hall of fame. Yeah. Let me get to some of these people here. Okay. Yeah. Very, very nice, man. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Yes. Yeah, he got a VIP. Oh, he get a picture. Yep, he gets a picture. He got two. He he got two items and a picture. Uh, this camera right here. Yep. You want to pick a photo, Tommy? Yeah. Which photo did you want? Um. Can you do this? Yep. JR. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Uh-huh. Do you want me to buckle up your belt?
now today is I do like the but UWF really, really interesting wrestling matches with throws and kicks and buttons and knockdowns and blow escapes. Everybody just loves all yeah, I think that's a pissed off people, especially when you put it in the world. That would be something to try to start. Well, actually, um, Josh Barnett is doing it. Yes, yeah. 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 We, we want some bad boys in LA like that. Yeah. That was probably our favorite. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I love it. That was our favorite. Thank you. 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 Thank you.